He up in my bag, but I mean he is too. <laughs> and that's why every time you see me, I got some new shoes. Hey y'all, welcome back to my video. It's your girl, Nakai Ivory, and welcome to my channel. Um, today, what we doing, uh, we're going over what I got from the Sephora VIB sale. Um, I'm VIB, there's like Insider, VIB, and Rouge. Insider got 10% off, VIB got 15% off, and I believe Rouge got 20% off. Sephora pretty much has to sell twice a year, and every time there's a sale, I'm always getting something, and I'm always you know, stacking up on whatever I need. So first, let's start off with the makeup. I know that this hot weather is coming, so your girl had to get her a new skin tint. So what I went and got is the Too Faced Born This Way Healthy Glow um, Tinted Moisturizer. Um, and I got the shade Shy. It's pretty much, if you wear the foundation or if you're around my color, it's pretty much like the same exact color as the foundation. Um, it has SPF in it, so if you're doing skincare, you don't feel like putting on some block for the day and you're wearing makeup, this has SPF in it, so you get the benefits of this. This is hydrating, I believe. Um, it has watermelon, apple, and hyaluronic acid in it. Um, this was a little pricey, I'm not going to lie, but I'm going to wear it all spring and summer. I'm going to get my money's worth, okay? So, yeah. Um... Next up, I have the Mario Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Perfector in the shade Dark. This is what this looks like. I've been wanting this for like over a year. Makeup is pricey, and baby, I was not trying to pay that price at the moment, but since Sephora was having a sale or whatever, I decided to go ahead and get it. So this is what it looks like. Focus, focus. Isn't it so pretty? I don't know if you could tell on camera, but it has little sparklies in it. Um, So yeah. It gives you a little bit of shimmer. Perfect for the summer if you want to look sun-kissed or whatever. So, yeah. Um. Also, makeup-wise, I got the NARS Bronzer, Laguna Bronzing Powder. And I got the shade 6. This is what it comes in. And I did get the mini size because I do travel a lot. And I like compact items to take on the road with me or if I'm taking a flight or whatever. So, this is what this looks like. Um, so pretty much after you contour your face, if you don't wear makeup or whatever, you set it with bronzer or whatnot. So yeah, um, this is what it looks like. Let me get a little bit more. I don't like to be too dark when I bronze. I still like for it to look natural. So this is a pretty color. Um, let me let you see this one by Makeup by Mario as well. This is actually a bronzer too. It's probably a little bit lighter. Let's swatch it right beside the other one. So this is a little bit more bronzy, like shimmery. So yeah, about the same color. Let me wipe this off. So um, also the last actual makeup item that I got is the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, what's this called? Let me tell y'all the right name. The Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. So, if you know if you know about Charlotte Tilbury, then you know your girl is high. But her products are definitely worth it. So, I already have one of these. I'm starting to hit pan on it, as you can see. Um, I use this to set under my eye after I put concealer on. So, since it's hitting pan, and while there was a sale, I went ahead and got another one. Or whatever so yeah and i use the shade 310 to set under my eye because i want that brightening a uh, look and it's micro as well um even though this is small this thing was about 30 dollars, y'all i ain't gonna lie to you but definitely worth the coin and definitely worth buying um if you missed out on this sale because the sale is over now um there will be another sale around like christmas time so get you some then or whatever so, um, up next, my skin is pretty much like oily. I thought I had dry combination skin, but I have an oily T-zone. So, I'm starting to think I have like oily skin or whatever, but that's neither here nor there. I went ahead and got the one size combo. It's supposed to be really good for oily skin. And I have a really oily T-zone. So, 
yeah i got the secure the sweat dry till dawn primer by one size i got the full size tube this is what it looks like um so pretty much it comes sealed i used it already as y'all can see you take the top and you pop it off or whatever and then yeah so far i'm liking it it looks pretty good and my makeup does last pretty much all day when i wear it i've only worn it like twice so yeah and then i also got the one size on till dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray the full size bottle this setting spray do hit i just want to let you know that it's fire and definitely worth the queen or whatever and i do also own like the setting powder and then I got a concealer, like, right before the sale started. This is the uh, concealer right here. Or whatever. And then they have, like, the setting powders. They have, like, a translucent one and a dark one. So, One Size is a pretty good brand or whatever. Um, I've already been through, like, a thing of the setting powder. And, yes, I like mini products. If you was wondering why I got so many micro things. But, anyways, yeah. In regards to oily skin, while we are talking about it, I decided to try these Peace Out Pores uh, nose strips. This is what it looks like. So um, it comes with like a nose strip and like a regular pore strip or whatever. I feel like I have a really oily nose and these are supposed to be really good in regards to pulling the excess sebum out your nose and just making your pores look a little bit smaller, especially if you wear like makeup like me or whatever. So yeah. Sorry, my nose is like running there. I don't know if it's the rain or like it's cold outside. I just don't know. But yeah, I've only tried these. I tried these last night. Um, I don't know if I had it on long enough, but I came home from work pretty late and I just want to try them out. So my nose looks pretty good today. I feel like I don't know. I'm gonna try it out again another day. I'm gonna let you know how it go. So yeah, but yeah, uh, this comes in a set of four and you know, the instructions are on the back and whatnot. So, y'all, even though I really, really, really love me some makeup, we about to get into fragrance. Because your girl, your girl had to stock up for the spring and summer. And I'm probably going to get a few more fragrances, but couldn't go too crazy. So, yeah, I got the Ellis Brooklyn Flores Travel Size Spray. Um, This is a very floral perfume. Perfect for the springtime, but, like, light, but, like, also, like, grown at the same time. Like, you're that grow, like, very much that grow. It smells really good, actually. It's probably not, like, my favorite one that I picked up out of this haul, but, like, it smells pretty good. I'm not big on floral, but this smells good, so, yeah. Up next, I got the Muggler Alien Goddess. And we all know that on this channel that we are goddesses. And yeah, so why not get a fragrance that's called Alien Goddess? This smells so good, y'all. Like, I think I'm going to wear it today, actually. Ugh. I don't know the notes in this, but like, I'll have a link down below if you want. And I'm just going to let this dry. But it's giving very much that grow too, very much grown and sexy. So um, I got the travel size as well because I had never smelled this before. And it was very much a blind buy. Um, this is how cute the little bottle looks or whatever. I just love the way the bottle look actually. You get a good little bit actually. So yeah. Um, next is not a par a parfum, but it is a body spray. I've been seeing the girlies on Instagram and YouTube talk about this. It's called the Sol de Janeiro Rio Radiance um, Perfumist. So if you're not familiar with Sol de Janeiro, they are very famous for their Bum Bum Cream. And they have, I have another fragrance by them, Chirosa 62. It smells really good. So why not try to spray out? Anyways, this smells like beach in a bottle. Um, it's very light. It's very much on the go. If you're being outside in the sun, you're going to be outside all day. This is a good um, fragrance to try out. It wasn't, it didn't cost that much either. So I am going to the beach in a few weeks and I'm definitely taking this with me or whatever. And I might go ahead and get that bum bum cream as well because why not? So yeah. Um. So next, um, I have the Versace Porfimi Dylan Purple. Ooh, they parfum y'all check out the bottle like oh my god why this phone won't focus check out the bottle 
fire. This smells so good. This was definitely another blind buy, blind buy as well. Um, I just really want y'all to check out the details of this bottle. It has Versace around here. This is very much that girl luxury, black girl luxury. Luxury in general because fragrance don't have a color. What am I saying? But yeah, I got the one ounce of this. This smells really good. It reminds me of Victoria's Secret reloaded grown and sexy i don't know if it's the victoria's the victoria's secret purple spray is it love it's not love spill it's another one it's the purple one i don't know what it's called if you know what it's called um leave a comment down below it's in the purple whatever it was it reminds me of victoria's secret but a perf a perfume basically so yeah this is nice it, it was less than a hundred dollars actually so good price good price and there's a quite a bit in there. Um, last but not least, I got Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia. Y'all, I've been wanting this fragrance for a very long time. And I finally got my hands on it. It's floral, but like kind of sweet at the same time. Um, it has white. Oh, it's on the back of the bottle. White Gardenia, um, Grandiflorum Jasmine, and Pear Blossom. You definitely smell a little bit of pear after it dries down. But this smells so good. Like... I cannot wait to wear this. But anyways, y'all, I just want to thank you for tuning in to my haul. This is everything that I got in the haul. If you want to see me um, try on my new products on a video, watch me do my makeup, let me know down below. Um, I do thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure you like this video. Comment on the video if there's something in here that you're interested in. And if you're not following me on social media, then what are you doing? Okay. I'm going to list all that down below. Follow me on everything. Turn your post notifications back on because your girl is back. Period. But anyways, thank you guys. See you next time.